Hi YouTube, this is Harmony and um, today I'm doing a little something different with my hair. I'm going to um, put a henna cream in my hair. Now this is not the powder henna. This henna is already, it's ready for use. Um, it comes in different colors. I think it's just a more healthy way to color your hair um, other than using the over-the-counter um, hair dyes that you would normally get in major drugstore, in major drugstore, um, drug stores. Uh, it does not contain ammonia, PPD, peroxide, parabens, heavy metals, or GMOs, okay? So, I'm going to use this. I don't want to use the powder henna because I'm just a little, um, wary of, uh, of the fact that henna has the ability not for everybody I know some of you you use it and your hair is fine henna has the ability to loosen your your um, your curl pattern and the front of my hair is already loose as you guys can see if this gets any straighter it will be bone straight I can't tell you how many people who have contacted me and asked me about henna um, loosening their texture because it does have the ability to, to, um, to do that so I'm kind of staying away from the regular henna um, for now. But I do want to change my hair color. I want to try something different. I don't want to use the over-the-counter. Um, I just want to try something different. I don't want to use the over-counter uh, over hair color. So this is called um, Sura Brazil. It's a henna cream. Okay. So what I had to do, I had to um, wash my hair. Uh, with the clarifying shampoo, which you guys know I use Dr. Barna's peppermint soap, and uh, and then I'm going to apply it to my hair. In the instructions, it said do not put any conditioner or anything on my hair, so I had to remove everything. And you guys can see my hair is really growing. You guys can see that. Uh, <laughs> it's really growing. I, I, I have to detangle it now. So I will list the website of where I got this. Okay, I have a friend who swears by it. She's been using it for years. So that's why I started um, on using it. And this is the way the box look, looks. And this is the way the cream looks. So, the instructions, let me just take out the gloves. These fake gloves. The instructions, Okay, it says to wash your hair, which I've already done, and I'm just going to apply it to my hair. Okay. So this color is chocolate brown, which is a good color for the fall, for the winter, and fall months. Okay. Alright. So now I am, I'm sorry guys, I'm just reading the instructions because I don't understand. It says remove the lid without breaking the seal in case you wish to reuse the product. So that's annoying because it seems like you have to. Just pour this stuff in your hand, which I think is just totally ridiculous. Wait, really? <laughs> does that make any sense? No, it does not. Anyway, I'm just going to apply this to my hair. And let's see how it works out. Well, it is a cream, so it's really not that. See, this is the way it looks. It's a cream. So I'm applying it to my hair. And I have to leave it on for 40 to 45 minutes. There's a timetable. Um, it states that it covers gray and white hair. I don't know how true that is because I don't have gray hair yet. <laughs> so I'm not sure how true that is. 
my friend who uses it has gray hair and she uses it for her gray hair. But the last time I saw her, I saw her grays. Now, I don't know if that was because of the fact that she needs to do a touch up, if that was new growers, or because it just didn't cover her hair. You know? So I don't wanna. It smells good. It doesn't have like a chemical scent to it. Not at all. So I'm making sure that I really work this in because I want to make sure my hair was colored evenly. Mm -hmm. The spread is really nice, as you guys can see. The spread's nice. I'm just making sure it gets on everything. Okay. All right, and um, let me make sure. I am loving my TWA, guys. This thing is bringing out my curls. <laughs> I'm loving. I always have to to say this to remind to remind those who watch my videos or those who are new. Please do not be fooled by my hair texture. People think that because I have coils and I have curls that my hair is not coarse. It's very coarse. It is so coarse. This stuff really spreads. It really spreads well. And my hair is very coarse. What makes my hair soft is my product. When people come by to my home to buy products and they always want to touch my hair, you know, and they can't believe how soft my hair is, but it's the product. The product, my hair is, is, you know, without the product, is very dry and coarse. And that's what makes it so difficult to detangle because I have the combination of the coils and I have the coarseness, and my hair can be stringy, it gets tangled really fast. So, so that's what usually happens. Look at my hair. My hair has not been this dark in a long time. I don't think it's going to stay this dark. I don't think so. It's the chocolate. So we'll see. So you guys already see, like, well, this is just the color. I don't think my hair is going to be this dark. But you can see how wet or how well this stuff spreads. It's very conditioning. I mean, it has literally, um... Made my hair like extra soft. There's no black like, burning. You know, sometimes like when you put the chemical, the chem the um the color in your hair, the regular chemicals color in your hair, it can burn like your eyes. The ammonia, I guess, that's what it is, or the peroxide. So I'm liking this so far. I'm liking it. And that's it. So I'm going to leave this on for, let me make sure I'm right. Oh, look at that. One color I would never, I used to do it. I didn't know any better. I used to like dye my hair like jet black. Mm. Doesn't bring out, doesn't bring out my, my beauty at all. But anyway, so it says here, my hair is dark brown. So it goes by the natural color of your hair and then the colors, and then my hair was dark brown, so it says because my hair was dark brown, I should leave it on for 30 to 40 minutes, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do, and I'll be back. So hey guys, I am back, and um, this color is off the hook. I'm sure you guys can see that my hair color is different now. <laughs> Stuff is amazing, wow. Um, it really took to my hair. I, I didn't even, I didn't leave it in longer than I was supposed to. I left it in for 40 minutes. And I can see a little in the front of my old color, but that's okay because it gives it like a highlight effect. But for the most part, my hair is chocolate. For the most part, you can see my hair is chocolate. So that's cool. So what I'm going to do now with my hair is I am going to do bantu knots 
But before I put in the Bantu knots, I am going to do the back of my hair. I have been just putting my Shea Butter Whip in my hair because I really didn't want to add a gel. But I'm finding that my hair gets, even though it's nice and moisturized, it just gets really frizzy. So I have to put the gel in to tame, to keep my hair from getting frizzy and so that to prolong my style. So just give me a second. Um, I just wanted to show you guys that after I rinsed out the color, I used my Onion Honey Hemp uh, Conditioner. I love this stuff. I love it. Even when I rinsed out the color, my hair was like really nice and soft and conditioned. So I'll definitely be using this again. Most likely, they have all kinds of colors. They have black, dark brown, light brown, blonde, strawberry blonde, gray hair. Oh, this is what happens if your hair is black, then it lists um, the results of how the color will come out on your hair. Okay, so you can go on the website. I will post it in this video and you can check out all the different colors that they have available. I have to tell my friend that I am pleased um, so far with, with the product. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some Kinky Curly Custard and my shea, my ginger shea butter whip to my hair. Uh, I'm just going to take a little bit of the Kinky Curly Custard. Okay. I'm going to take some of that. I'm going to take some of my shea butter whip. Right, not too much. I'm going to put in the Shea Butter Whip just to make sure I don't get that, you know, sticky, um, crunchy feel from the Kinky Curly Custard. And see? And so you guys can see my hair is wet. I am dripping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this all, pat this all over my hair. Okay? And then I'm going to rake it in. Just rake it in until it disappears. Yeah. This is the most easiest, I will say. The uh, the TWA is the most easiest part or phase of being natural. It really is. It really depends if you're if you're um if I don't put the shea butter if it, not the shea butter if I don't put the kinky curly custard in my hair. Um, my curls are not really defined. It just looks like I have, once I rake in the Shea Butter Whip, it really takes away the, the little curl pattern that I have. So, it just makes, the Shea Butter Whip just makes my hair soft, and then after a while my hair gets a little frizzy. But I, you know, usually I just like pat it down and shape it, and then I'm okay with it. Um, I know a lot of people, they go natural, they want to find out what hair texture they have and what curl pattern, what pattern, or they have a curl pattern, but contrary to popular belief, you can still wear a TWA even if you do not have curls. You really can. It's not a requirement. So I'm just going to rake this in just so I won't have to keep doing my hair. And that's that. And then usually I just pat it. All this other stuff, that's just going to melt in. It's not a big deal. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the front of my hair. Yeah, I am definitely loving my short phase because uh, I'll have to start detangling. I mean, I still comb my hair out, but that's not detangling. Um, I will have to start detangling. Um, <laughs> this bad boy pretty soon so I am enjoying my stage alright so I'm going to split this in half okay and then I'm, I'm going to do the same thing I'll take some Shea Butter Whip and a Kinky Curly Custard and I'm just going to smooth this on okay I want to make sure I get my roots Okay, I'm going to smooth this on. That's fine. Okay, now I'm going to do the other side. And get the front of my hair. And the back. And make sure this is worked in evenly. 
And guys, it melts right in. It melts right in. Sometimes I have to add just a little extra to my ends. Take care of your ends, ladies. Take care of your ends. That's the first part of your, your edges and your ends are the first part of your hair that dries out. So always take special care of your ends, okay? And trim. Please do not let anybody, some of you who want to have long hair, I know there are some people out there who say that they never trim their hair. Do not let people fool you. Trimming is necessary for healthy hair. Um, your ends dry out, and after a while, they just need to be trimmed off. I don't care how much you take care of them. They need, like anything. In a garden, you have to prune, you have to trim, you have to get rid of dead leaves. There's no different than with your hair. So don't let anyone um, convince you because of your desire for long hair that you don't have to trim your ends. And another thing too, if you don't trim your ends, you're going to end up defeating the purpose because you end up with split ends and that will travel up to the shaft of your hair and you'll end up having to cut your hair anyway. So trim your ends. It's not trim. It's okay. It's okay. I have not trimmed my TWA because right now it's just not necessary. I'm probably going to wait until I have like about three or four inches and then I'll trim. But right now my hair is fine. It's nice and soft and it's healthy. So I'm not focusing on that too much. And my ends still need a little bit of tender loving care over here. So I'm going to work that in. All right, so that's that. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to put in some really um, quick, quickly, I'm going to put in some bantu knots. I am not, okay, and then I want these to dry, so. You know, I've become so lazy with my hair because I really don't have to do anything with it. So, I'm feeling a, I'm feeling a little apprehensive with doing the bantu knots because I'm like, do I really want to do this? It's not necessary, but I will. So, I'm going to put these in just for the sake of you guys because I know I haven't done a video in a while and I'm just going to wrap this around. I'm going to wrap this around. I don't know how it's going to look, but I'm doing this for styling purposes. I may just put on one of my um my hats if it doesn't look right. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to look, so we'll discover that together. Um, I, I will tell you guys, this is like my second time going through the TWA phase, and for me, um... You know, I, I, I just have to say, like, with natural hair, I'm telling you, your hair is in charge. It's, it's not about what you want and what you desire and what you see, and now you're trying to get what somebody else has. Um, I think some of us are losing the meaning of journey. The journey is not about uh, so much... Well, let me find out what kind of hair texture I have or let me get long hair. All right. The journey is about let me find out what kind of hair I have and let me see how I can learn how to take care of my hair. Not let me um, watch a whole bunch of videos on YouTube and figure out how I can get that other person's hair. You will be frustrated this year. You will be frustrated next year and you'll be fr frustrated five years from now. I'm telling guys, I always just have to keep it real and be honest with you because that's not what um, being natural is about. If you want healthy hair, learn how to take care of your hair. Some of you might start doing things, doing things to your hair that that um, because you saw someone else doing it, and then you realize that that's not for your hair. It's a journey. It's about you learning how to take care of your hair, your texture. And even just because a person and I share the same texture doesn't mean that we're always going to have the same results. You guys understand what I'm saying? When you find that your hair doesn't like a product or your hair 
um, responds to a certain hairstyle or product, that's information for you to use again when you style your hair then you find okay my hair likes this product it doesn't like this that product it's about a relationship with your hair if you're constantly you know putting down your hair or looking at someone else's hair and saying well i want that person's hair then i mean there are chicks out there who have more hair than i do they have people out there who have a really soft texture which i think is it's easier to take care of but even though it's easier to take care of it does not mean that that person doesn't have their cons too you know so you have to learn how to take care of your hair I don't know how this is gonna look when I do it but I'm just gonna let it set for a little bit and then I just might take him out and let him hang but anyway um some of you are making your journey just just I talk to a lot of women and some of you make your journey, you're making your journey hard. It doesn't have to be. It really doesn't. It, do, it doesn't have to be as difficult as some of us are making it. So, you know, you have to figure, figure out what's important to you when it comes to your hair. That's what you have to figure out. And drown out society's standards and other people's voices. That's why I'm saying, you know, going natural is not for everybody. It, it really isn't. Um, or being natural is not for everybody if you are the type of person that are to is totally focused on what people are going to say about you or people's comments. It's not for you. You might as well just relax your hair. Because the comments are coming and the stares are coming and your hair is not going to look great every day. And if you identify yourself with your hair then my hair does not always look that great. I've gone outside sometimes, like, look, I have to go to work and I need to get, go out. My hair is not looking right. I had a botched hairstyle. There are times I've gone to work, yes, in corporate America, and I had to wrap my hair up in a nice, pretty scarf, and I went to work. And some people liked it, and some people were like, well, where the hell is she going? And it is what it is. I mean, I really did not want to wear the scarf, but I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> it was a mess. My hair was a mess. But is that who I am? Like, was I walking around thinking I was less of, less of a person because someone didn't like my hair? So I, I think some of us have to grow there. Some of us are not ready for that. If we're still focused on other people's opinions and how people view us, then... Um, I already know that these Bantu knots are going to look crazy. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We will see. So. So I said on Facebook, guys, if you, sometimes when I'm not on YouTube, I'm still very active. You need to, to like my Facebook page. It's I love my fro. One word. And like my page. Sometimes I'm on there talking about different things or talking about hair or relationships or making quotes or just posting information on here and if you think that when I'm not on YouTube that I am not busy doing things behind the scenes you're missing out sometimes I um I post contests on my Facebook page and I don't get to do it on YouTube so definitely like my my uh my Facebook page I love my fro if you want to uh to keep up to date with what's going on. So, I had, I want to tell you guys that um, I will be in Atlanta, Georgia in February for Fro Fashion Week. I am one of the speakers and the press supporters. So, all my Atlanta ladies, I will be there with Taryn Boone and her sister Glenda and, um, and all the other fabulous um, speakers and vendors and and brands. I will def I love my fro will definitely be there. Um 2012 is going to be the year that I will be doing a lot of vending. I am branching out. Um so I have taken um I love my fro full time. I am doing this full time now. So I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of vending. So, you have to stay up to date with me on Facebook to find out when I will be in your, uh, in your city. 
okay so you know what guys I don't regret missing my um I don't regret cutting what's wrong with me I don't regret cutting my hair but sometimes when I am on Facebook and I see um what's her name Ash I don't Ashley I'll list her name when I see her 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 hair and I see Nadine um a beautiful brown baby doll or Nadine I think she is um brown girls pretty brown girls um when I see her hair when I see of course sunshine Sunshine, natural, and loving it when I see her hair. I miss the fact that this winter I will not have be doing my twist outs. Now, you guys know I used to love my twist outs. And so, I'm happy I left the front of my hair long because I have something to play with. I miss, I don't miss the tangling. So, you, it's, you can't have it all, you know. You, you won't have it all and it is what it is. So, that's just the, um, the con of me cutting my hair off. But I'm happy I left a little patch on the front. Okay, so my hair is really, really, really growing. Even the front is like, it's growing. And guys, you know what? I, I have to also say something. Um, When you first start out with your natural hair, please keep in mind, I have to say this again, um, like I said before, it's a journey. You don't know how to take care of your hair. As an adult, you are learning how to take care of your hair. So you're going to have bouts of frustrations, and you're going to have botched hairstyles, and you're going to have, well, I'll never do that again. That's what the journey is all about. Um, but enjoy your journey. It's a relationship. It's, it's, it's a relationship with your hair. So, I kind of lost my train of thought of what I was going to say. But, um... Hopefully it comes back. Enjoy your hair. Enjoy it. I there are certain things about my hair that I do not like. And um I just you just deal with it. You know? You just deal with it. You just deal with it. There is a mad I do not like this good hair stuff. People say to me all the time when they say it, I know, I understand, but I cringe, I cringe, I cringe, I cringe, I cringe. You know, I was doing some research and I read that even our ancestors, before they were slaves, hair was a big thing. Hair um, determined social status, not your hair type. <laughs> Let me just get that straight. It wasn't the hair type and if you had curly hair, okay? It was the styles. Now, you know, in Africa, if you go to certain certain tribes, um, some of those people, they still follow their um, culture. And the hair jewelry and the hairstyles and the makeup, all that stuff um, determines a person's status in the village or in, yeah, in their village. So... That I guess that's innate in us. That's like a part of us as a people. The good hair thing came, and and when we came over, when our ancestors came over to be sold as slaves, the first thing that they did was shave off the hair. So it was very demeaning. So when the slave master started sleeping with, um. The female slaves, what they did was the, the mulatto slaves, they received better food and housing and were treated differently because of their skin color and because of their hair texture. So the hair texture thing was not really about, well, your hair is better than mine. It was your hair, if it was mixed, if you were mixed, you got a better I mean you still got the shitty end of the stick but it probably wasn't as shitty as someone who was just 100% African so the person who wrote this article they said for slaves it was more of survival it was a survival tactic like if you were lighter and you were mixed you had it kind of better like you know the lighter slaves really weren't in the um, fields you were still a nigger the lighter slaves were still niggas, excuse me. And they also, the lighter slaves also had a better chance of probably being freed or being free. So I could understand that mentality. And it's still in our, um, 
it's still in our culture today but it's no longer about survival it's always about status it's about status, it's about status, it's about status. I did not realize that my dark skin was an issue until I was a teenager. And I don't know, I guess I just always had a thick skin. It never really bothered me. But every time I watch a movie that's made by, that's what I'm saying, I don't care about what white people think about me. I have a problem with my own people. That's who I have a problem with. And this light skin, dark skin crap, I can't be believe that we're still talking about it. You know, it's, it's a, um, some people are just light-skinned, not because they are mixed. Some people are just light-skinned. You understand? Some of us are dark-skinned. That is the color that God chose to paint you with. It doesn't say anything, okay? Light-skinned or dark-skinned doesn't say anything of just because you're lighter, even though some people think that way, you're a nicer person or you're less black. It's ridiculous. It's just so ridiculous. I've had educated black men tell me that I am pretty for a dark-skinned woman and they think that is a compliment and I'm sitting there and I'm like and you're educated you're educated I've had religious people who love Jesus say things like I don't want you bringing no dark no dark skin nappy headed pick me all kinds <laughs> I'm like oh my god people are crazy people are crazy People are crazy. I have a friend who's very fair, Tamika. She is very fair. She tells me how many I go through it all the time because she's really fair. So even if we're together, she gets a lot of attention. Guys, she has the long hair, the hazel eyes, and she's really fair. She's a beautiful young lady. And a lot, unfortunately, you know, a lot of men have this thing with this light skin. My nephews got it. It's, it's, but you want to know something, guys? It's in the hip hop. It's in the movies. Every time I see a movie, a black movie, it's always, you know, the dark skin girl is playing the hoe, and the light skin girl is playing the, the um, you know, the the good girl, the wifey, and it's really sad. It's really sad because the contrary to popular belief. Um, I see a whole lot of women out here being dogged out. It don't matter what complexion they are, from light skin to dark skin. And then I see dark skin and light skin women who 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 have set some standards in their lives and they're not putting up with the with the crap. So if if you're light skin, and I'm just talking to to some of you out here who are being who are born and raised in this foolishness, especially the younger generation, and you're out here thinking that you're better because you're light skin, please don't fall into that foolishness. Please, please don't let these people soup your head up and have you thinking in such an, an ignorant manner. And those of you who are dark skinned, please don't feel that you're less of a person. Do not feel that you are less of a person. So, as you guys can see, I'm going to leave these in. I'm going out and I'm going to leave these in for about um, until I leave the house and then I'm going to... I'm probably, I'll show you guys what I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to, um, like, pin them to the side. I'll do something with it. But am I going outside like this? No, because I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> oh, the things that you go through for beauty. Okay, so I'm going to let this be, and um, I'm going out tomorrow evening with my baby, so you guys will be able to see the, um, the end results of the band two nights. I hope they come out right. So I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. So hi, guys. It's me again, and um, I'm going to take these out. I'm getting ready to go out. I'm just going to... I probably should have did this last night, but that's okay. Um, I may put them back in when I get to my destination. So, for now, I'm just going to... Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Come on, come on. Come on. Okay, last one. 
I'm going to take these yeah that's what I'm going to do and I am definitely okay with, with this I think that looks cute like I have a little design in the front that's really cute so that's fine so, there's always ways to deal with that here. If you're not afraid to try things new. And I think, I like that. I think I like that. That's cute. People will not be able to figure out what is that. <laughs> like, is that hair? Or is that, are those extensions or what? So, alright. So, I have to go. Um, I, ha I have more pictures for you guys. Because uh, I'm going out tomorrow night and I'm going out Saturday. So I'll have um, two different styles for you guys, okay? So I'll see you later. Bye.